Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Just a quick video. Right, something that um, I've been speaking to God about recently is very much learning from past and what well, speaking to God about all of this stuff is about being prepared for sexual temptation. And the reason is, is because basically men are going to be attracted to women. If, if a woman tries to come on to a man sexually and get him interested, generally speaking, there's certainly a part of man that's going to be very interested very easily. That is the reality. And it's something that men have to understand and have to face. So therefore, okay. Now, so therefore understand the point that if you are single... there's a very good chance that you will, from time to time, give in to temptation sexually. Right? That's the reality. Certainly, if, if you are someone who has come from the world um, into a relationship with God, then, and you've been a sexual person beforehand, it's, it's quite possible that, that that will happen, yes. Well, for most people it does. Um, and for a lot of Christian men there, there's a, a weird way of thinking that's absolutely and totally demonic but the thinking is is that it's healthier to use pornography than it is to meet up with someone and get up to anything sexual with an actual human being that's complete wrong absolutely wrong because if you're using pornography um, on those channels, the people that put the videos on, they would get a click or notification or something to say that you have actually clicked on their video. That then tells them that you like or that all these people, all these clicks, are tell them that all these people like that type of video, so they're going to make more of them. So they will gather men, young men and young women to make more of these movies. Right? So your clicks are going to be encouraging young men and young women to get involved in the industry. That is far more dysfunctional and far more damaging than you having an understanding and maybe, you know, giving it to temptation to an actual human being. But again, having an understanding of what that means and everything about it as I say you understand that according to scripture when people join as in full sex they are joined as in husband and wife okay the reason why you need to understand that is because therefore don't be joined with anyone who's not going to be your husband and wife right I've said before I've watched some of these um yeah um conversations with young men young men young women and one thing with young men very much is about body count and they're speaking very much about the woman's body count now what they're not talking about whether the woman has a little bit of foreplay with a man once and you know how many people she's nearly gone full with it's talking about how many men have entered her right and yeah it's a big deal and among society now, it's a big deal. Because especially now you've got women um, understanding that they are as equal to men. And so therefore, if men can be sexually uh, free, then so can women. There was a story in one of them. Uh, it was the most recent one on the Whatever channel um, of a 36-year-old woman. And, oh, I felt for her. <laughs> yeah I felt for her because yeah she was basically saying that um, she was brought up in a Christian family but her fam family were very very cold so because her family were cold you know, um, no affection or anything like that 
She sought affection from anyone. She realised basically, we're, we're saying it in a way that's obvious, she realised that with a, with a vagina she could attract men and men would give her a degree of intimacy for that, right? And she went a bit wild and then something happened in her life and she stopped doing that she went to church um but she went to church really to find a man to find a husband and she went in one church and all the men were too old she went to, into another church and all the men were too young so she gave up on finding a good man and gave up on god now of course in church she was in a place where she was completely loved by God and she didn't realise that because she was looking for a husband. Yeah. The point I'm saying is is that there's a lot of sexual dysfunction out there. And but the point of it is understand that temptation will come. Understand that occasionally you might give in to temptation and if you do understand what is healthy and what isn't. Up to that point of joining, as husband and wife, up to that point, up to that point, is certainly a damn sight healthier than going beyond that point. Yeah, having full sex is not healthy to do with anyone who is not your husband or wife. Going as far as that, okay. If you're going to be tempted... And you're going to give in to temptation, then go as far as that, but don't go to that. The reason is, is because men, men and women can climax, you know, without having to go as far as full sex. So, yeah, do that. If you're going to give in to temptation, do that. Don't go further. So understand, it's, it's not about saying that people should give in to temptation, but what it is about is understanding that if when you come to that point as a young or not so young it doesn't matter as a single believer when you come to that point where you where you are going to give into temptation because for most it's something which is an issue and because it's an issue they are going to occasionally give into temptation that's a reality it's no good pretending it doesn't happen because it does so therefore understand that's going to happen sometimes but then understand that you're not going to take it to that degree because yet look for some believers they don't have any desire for that and good for them <laughs> yeah yeah good for them for others they do you know, I, I just wish that as, as a young christian man that even in men's meetings that there would have been some advice on this area at that time there wasn't we got nothing but the reality is yes yeah men generally speaking you know if, if a woman wants to turn a man on she can right that is true it's not so easy for a man to do that for with a woman but yeah women have power in that way and yeah men need to understand that there's that part of them that yeah so as i say it's just a case of understanding that if you're going to give into temptation you can go a certain distance but don't go any further and as long as you understand that then you can remain relatively healthy because yeah that father doesn't see sin in the sense of that he looks at you through the blood of christ but as i said what he does he understands that your sin hurts you and other people but therefore let's try and minimize the hurt yeah that's basically from that point of view let's try to minimize the hurt that you're causing to yourself and others and then yeah yeah because that that is something that yeah, men and women are going to be faced with and to just understand and be wise and be healthy right you take care god bless be a blessing be blessed and i'll speak to you soon
Enjoy. Bye-bye.